Well, I don't have a whole lot of changes other than to tell you that my budget has gone down by 6% for next year. Um, the significant changes um, in the part-time wages, uh, the increase, it, it is an increase in that um, line item uh, due to the file clerk going um, for a full year. Last year was the first year uh, that we had it in the budget, and um, she worked 39 weeks last year, and it will be a full 52 this, this year. I want to say thank you so much for uh, approving that position because it has made such a difference in my world, <laughs> my, my personal world. I, she has done, she has gotten the filing completely caught up. Uh, she's not only filing motor vehicle registrations, but she's filing title applications. She's filing um, um, like backup um, information on residency requirements. Um, she has helped me considerably uh, with the last election and this one in preparing um, absentee ballot envelopes so that once the ballots come in, the envelopes are ready for the, the ballots to be stuffed into the envelopes and get them out, you know, usually the same day that we receive the ballots. That has made an unbelievable, unbelievable difference in our office. And Rosemary is fantastic. She's great. Um, the other change is uh, the town clerk wage. Uh, it's just asking for a 3% salary increase. Um, down to computer support. Um, the increase is only $129 for that, but our maintenance agreement uh, with Intoware, which is our motor vehicle and dog licensing software. So that maintenance agreement has increased. Um, under voter registration, part-time wages decreased because there will be no major elections in 2017. We'll just have our town election then. So there's no extra assistance required by the supervisor of the checklist. And then under election administration, uh, ballot clerk wages also decreased for the same reason. And then election expenses, um, also the same reason. There's no major elections in 2017. So this is, this is a fun year for me to come before you on the budget committee because my budget go, goes down. So if anyone has any questions, I'm happy to answer. So Regina. So that's really the main reason why the election administration went down that much is because there's this non-major election this year. Yeah, we had um, six. We're, ha we're having six elections this year, so that's a huge expense for the right. town. So okay, um, it makes a big difference when we only have the town election. Right, definitely. Yeah, no, that was. I mean, that's like twenty, almost twenty-five thousand dollars right there. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that was my uh, primary question. Thank yep. you. Yep. Yeah, Jane. Thank you. Nice job. Um, when you talked about the part-time wages for the filing clerk, mm -hmm. I mean, actually, the, the wages went up 6%, but it's a savings, isn't it, in, over in effect with the work that's being done? Oh, it's huge. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, people need to realize that, that, that the efficiency and the productivity. Oh, it's, it's, I can't even express to you what a difference it has made in our office because my clerks were stressing out because they couldn't get the filing done. I didn't have time to do it. We've had lines out the door. Friday we had lines out the door, yesterday, uh, today we had lines out the door, and probably will be tomorrow. The, the, the traffic flow we're seeing in our office has increased. I can't even, t since I started 10 years ago, it, it's like a totally different world. Um, but yeah, it's, that position has made a huge difference in our office. We are getting so many more things accomplished because we don't have to worry about the filing and all of the other things that come along with it. Right. So, right. so thank you again. I can't say thanks That's enough for good. that. Go. Cool. Yes. Um, fabulous job. Fabulous department. Thank you. Thank you. Very little budget. Uh, we will be signing and reviewing and perhaps discussing before signature the uh, MS 535 for 2016. Uh, under uh, revenues uh, on this document uh, from your department alone, uh, your uh, department creates $3.231 million of revenue. Your budget is 8% of that. That uh, excludes and is mutually exclusive of all of the uh, myriad other responsibilities you have to include uh, elections. So um, there aren't a, a a huge amount of businesses in Hampton that do 3.2 million out of uh, the square footage you occupy. 
you do have a monopoly, um, and that's a good thing, but uh, running 8% of expense uh, for your revenue uh, is extraordinary. Keep up the good work, and thank you to all of you people. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Rick. Yeah, thank you very much. It's good to see that uh, there is a decrease. And um, one thing that I've noticed over the last couple of years, particularly, there's been very few uh, complaints about your department. So uh, not that there ever were a lot, but I don't think there's been any lately. So thank you very much. Nice to hear. <laughs> thank you. Well, I know you've had a, you've had a trying year with, with some of your help. Mm -hmm. This year, with people that have left and people who have come, and you, and you, you seem to have picked up a an, an excellent uh, replacement in in your department. And, yes, uh, we have. The uh, the department seems to be running very well. Um, people need to know that when they come in, and the lines are up up the door, you guys are working very hard just to get them uh, get them through. Mm -hmm. um, but it is what it is, and. Uh, you've been doing an excellent job over the past couple of years. Uh, as, as Rick said, uh, I can't, the only thing I, I I've come in and people are, are mad because the line is there, but that's not your fault. <laughs> that's not, you know, you guys are getting them through as fast as you can. And that's the only, that there's always a line. Well, there is because Hampton, <coughs> fortunately, is uh, there's more people registering cars and more people doing stuff in town. And the town has grown, continues to grow, and um, you do the best job you can with with the staff you have, and we really appreciate that. Well, if I can take this opportunity to tell the folks out there too that if they don't want to wait in line to come, not on Monday and not on Friday and not on the first or the last day of the month, <laughs> <laughs> there's hardly ever any lines on those days, and if there are, it's only two or three people. It's it's not you know ten, fifteen people. Excellent so. point. So. <laughs> Yeah, you got to pick the time, the day, the exactly. time, the month that you come. And exactly, and we always have the online registrations for those, you know, who have no changes to their registrations, and they're just doing a renewal. So that's always an option too. Very good. Alrighty, I guess that's it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.